Welcome to the second episode of Aruba Air Bites video series. Today, we will talk about BYOD and some of the challenges our customers are facing, specifically how BYOD impacts overall network performance. Joining me will be Bala Krishnamurthy, one of our top engineers and our resident RF expert. Let's head into the lab. Hi Bala, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, welcome to the lab. So you want to talk about BYOD today, right? Yes, that's right Bala. Now many customers are talking about BYOD today and they do know that as more devices connect to the network, the performance of the network suffers. And I understand that you're doing some work in the lab right now to uh, research this a little bit. Uh, can you tell me about what you've learned? The users today carry two, if not three, wireless devices. Some carry a laptop, some carry a tablet, but all users have a smartphone these days. And smartphones are always on devices that are always connected to the network and are doing something back and forth, even if you're not using it. Well, that's very true. My phone is in my pocket right now, and it's probably retrieving my email as we speak. Exactly. Let's see how the network performs with just 20 users. For simplicity, we assume each user has only one wireless device, which is a smartphone. We benchmark the network performance with the Aruba AP135 access point and measured three different data points. First, performance using downstream traffic to mimic users downloading email and watching HD video. We saw an aggregate performance of 32 megs across 20 devices. Second, we measured upstream performance that represents use cases like sending email attachments and uploading pictures. That measured at 32 megs. Finally, we measured the performance for bidirectional traffic, which came in at 32 megs. OK, but how do I know if that's good or not? So we looked at Cisco and compared it to the top of the line 3600 series access point. As you see on my screen here, we found that Aruba AP135 outperformed Cisco 3600 by up to eight times in this scenario. Specifically, you can upload photos and send emails eight times faster with AP135 than with Cisco 3600s. Well, that's huge, eight times. But how realistic is that test scenario? I would expect laptops and even tablets included, not just smartphones. Yes, of course. We also added 20 laptops capable of a maximum speed of 450 megs and 20 iPads, which can go up to 65 megs to the test to make it a total of 60 devices on the same AP with bidirectional traffic. This represents a good variety of client types with different throughput capabilities, as you would expect in the real world. Here, we found that the Aruba Wireless LAN delivers three times more aggregate throughput as compared to the Cisco Wireless LAN. Not only that, in an Aruba Wireless LAN, the faster clients, the laptops, are able to perform much better than the slower clients, the iPads and the smartphones. Bala, thanks for sharing all of this information with us today. Uh, it's definitely going to be helpful to share with customers in the future. And if our viewers need any more information, is there anything else that you can share with them? Wait, so I have one more test to show you. Let's walk over to the other part of the lab, which is about 100 feet away from the AP. Erin, check this video out. OK. I uh, turned it. You proved me right. So you're not supposed to hold it this way. You're supposed to hold it this way. Sorry, I think you lost me. Let me explain. OK. We were investigating an issue where we were only getting 8 megs of throughput on a Cisco 3600 access point when we were holding the iPad this way. Mm -hmm. But we're getting 25 megs on an Aruba AP135. It turns out that on a Cisco wireless LAN network, you need to hold the iPad this way at range to get the same 25 megs that we got with Aruba AP135. If you do not, your performance drops by one third. Wow, well that doesn't seem very user intuitive and kind of defeats the whole purpose of BYOD. Exactly. I hope you found today's episode as interesting as I did. Today, Bala showed us how device density plays a major role in network performance. With BYOD being a top of the mind issue, it's important to choose a network that delivers the best user experience for a variety of devices. We'll see you next time.